At The Button Law Firm, we're here to help answer any questions you may have about what happens after your child experiences abuse at daycare. Today, we're tackling a question that many parents find themselves asking. Why haven't the police arrested the teacher for the abuse of my child? We're always shocked and frustrated when caregivers aren't arrested after clear instances of abuse at daycare. Unfortunately, the analysis of arrest by law enforcement isn't always straightforward. The police evaluate various factors, including intent, severity of the misconduct, and state criminal statutes before making arrests. Examples of incidents that may lead to charges include physical abuse, sexual abuse, negligent supervision, drugging, and wrongful death. However, the threshold for criminal charges differs from state to state and depends on the specifics of each case. It's essential to first understand the difference between criminal and civil lawsuits in daycare abuse cases. Criminal cases focus on punishing wrongdoing while civil cases seek recovery and justice for victims. The state pursues criminal charges while affected families initiate civil lawsuits seeking damages. State findings serve as valuable information for civil actions, but they don't automatically lead to criminal charges. The decision to press charges lies with the district attorney's office, which evaluates the evidence independently. We understand that parents may want to press criminal charges themselves, but the authority lies with the state. Remember, even though it's frustrating, the lack of criminal charges does not not prevent you from seeking justice through the legal system. Our team can help you navigate the legal process and ensure accountability for the daycare facility's actions. If you have more questions about daycare injuries but aren't ready to talk to us just yet, we've created a free five-step guide on what to do after a daycare injury. It's linked below. We're here to keep you and your family moving forward.